All right, so integrated marketing, think hockey, not football. That's the title for this discussion. But wait a second, hang on. What's integrated marketing? And why are we talking about sports? Well, let's talk about integrated marketing first. Usually the way we define something is by thinking about what's the opposite of that thing. So what would the opposite of integrated marketing be? Would it be disintegrated marketing? Maybe it'd just be bad marketing. Well, at Monitor, we like to think of the synonym for integrated marketing as marketing. And in order to do a good job at marketing these days, we have to think about our organizations much more like hockey players than the football players that we've been treating them as. So why do our marketing organizations look the way they do? Well, to really understand this, we need to go back, let's say, about 30 years. What was going on 30 years ago? Well, consumers were behaving quite differently. First of all, they got most of the information that they used to make brand choices from two sources. First, they became aware of different products, different brands on TV. They saw a commercial and they said, hmm, I might like to buy something like that. And then that drove them to the store where they made their final purchase selection. That's a pretty simple world for marketers, right? I mean, it's kind of like a game of pickup football where all you really need is a quarterback and a receiver to play the game. So what happened to our game of pickup football over time? Well, as we all know, the world got way more complicated. I mean, TV was pretty much out there jamming it alone, kicking it old school, and then a bunch of cool new kids showed up. Kids like the internet, mobile phone, Facebook, Twitter, apps, video games, peer-to-peer -peer ratings, Amazon.com, blogging, blah, blah, blah. I know you get it. This party grew exponentially. Ironically, it's kind of like that old Fabergé organic shampoo commercial. You know the one where TV told two friends, and then they told two friends, and then they told two friends, and so on, and so on, and so on. So how did our marketing team react? For every one of the cool new media, we added another marketing position. We went from a world of quarterbacks and receivers to a world of quarterbacks, receivers, linebackers, tight ends, defensive linemen, left guards, centers, cornerbacks, safeties, uh, you get it. I mean, it all made sense at the time. A new media would pop up and we'd have to assign someone to cover them. Well, pretty soon we weren't playing pickup football anymore. We were in the pros. And things were now pretty complicated. So why did life on our marketing team get so complicated? Well, first of all, our team got so big, what with all the new marketers and agencies that we hired to cover all these new media, that pretty soon we needed an entire stadium to meet with the team. Second of all, our players could only really cover the new media that we asked them to cover. If one of them screwed up, the entire marketing play failed. So as a result, it was really hard for us to react when our opponents sped up the game. In order to be effective, we kept having to huddle up and huddle up and huddle up as a team to get back on the same page again. And therefore, pretty soon, our calendars were filled with meetings with each other rather than spending our time learning about our consumers. So if playing football isn't working for marketers, they should change the game. This is where we say, think hockey, not football. We believe your marketing team should be more like a hockey team. After all, the game is more fluid. I mean, you have a plan, but you'll adapt it on the fly if things change around you. The players are much more substitutable. The defenseman can join the rush if need be, a forward can drop back, and if the goalie gets sick, someone else can strap on the pads. Our marketers need to have this agility in order to be comfortable across media, and they need to be ready to adapt when a new media comes up. It's not a world where we can afford anymore to hire another specialist if a new media comes up to cover them. Our marketers need to learn to adapt in order to make sure that they're comfortable in a world that's changing around us. So in conclusion, we've got a shift from specialized, inflexible marketers and agencies to teams with quick-thinking, fast-acting players. Players that are able to adapt to an ever-changing consumer world. Because one thing that we know for certain is that the world around us will continue to change. And as much as we'd like to think that we can predict the future, we can't with any great certainty. So if we want to be prepared for an uncertain future, we need to transform our marketing teams from football players to hockey players. And then we can stop calling them an integrated marketing team and call them what they need to be called, just our marketing team.